What's up dudes, um, I just wanted to do a quick video, this has nothing to do with video games or gaming or tech or anything like that. It's just something that happened recently and I just kind of wanted to talk about it briefly because it's something that means a lot to me. This fellow right here, his name is Dopey. And he is a dog that showed up on our doorstep earlier today, unannounced, just, we just found him, he was just sort of there at the front door. Uh, he had no collar at the time or anything like that, no identification, he was just sort of, he was just a loose stray dog. How do we know his name is Dopey? Well, my roommate posted a picture of him up on a message board and said, Hey, does anyone know, you know, who this dog might belong to? And someone posted, said that they had actually found him the day before, and the owner attempted to say it wasn't his dog, even though the dog had a collar with the person's phone number on it. So a day later, apparently what they did was... Alright, relax. <laughs> apparently what they did was they took the collar off, and then just dumped the dog on the street, thinking, oh, now he's just a stray. And this sort of thing drives me crazy, because I've seen it before, and this city has somewhat of a stray dog problem, although it's a lot better now. But the thing is, guys, the thing is, y'all, and I know anybody watching this already knows this, but dogs aren't made to live on the street. They're just not. You know, the way that we domesticated wolves into dogs was any of the any of the wolves that were showing more domestic you know reliance on people were the ones that got bred into the dogs that we know and love now you know they're not they're not foragers scavengers and hunters like their ancestors were dogs need people they need people to survive so if you're dumping a dog out on the road basically you're sent the dog's sentenced to death at that point if they don't just die on the street they're gonna get picked up, thrown into, you know, thrown into an ASPCA or something, and they're gonna get put down eventually. And it, it, it really raised the question of like, <laughs> you know, why do you have the dog? You know, I've seen, I've seen so many people that get a dog and then they, they leave them chained in the yard all day long. You know, they just neglect them. They just sort of like, they're just a, a fucking lawn ornament. You know, it's 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 an it's it's a, it's alive. It's it's got like emotions and feelings and shit. It's 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 a you know, it's not a human, but it's a little it's a little guy. And they don't require a lot. Dogs don't need a lot to to you know, have a life. All they really need is, you know, food and someone that gives a shit about them. It's hard to know like I don't know where this I don't know how the shit pieced out. I don't know if Maybe it was a gift or something, and don't buy a dog as a gift. Please don't do that. Do not buy someone a dog for Chris, a puppy for Christmas, or a birthday, or anything like that. I know it's adorable, but if you're not ready for the responsibility, just don't bother with it. But you know, it's just because this person decided that they didn't feel like taking care of a dog, so they literally threw him out on the street. And it's, it fucking, <laughs> it drives me insane. You know, it really does. It just kills me on the inside, because are you, are you fucking kidding me? You know, take it very seriously if if you're gonna get an animal, and if if you can donate a few dollars whenever you go to like Petco or PetSmart or any store that offers donations, do it because they need the help. You know, shelters and shit are underfunded. They don't they don't have as much money as they need, and and you know, no kill shelters have to turn people away because they're low on resources, and then they go to kill shelters. You know, so do do what you can. I'm gonna put some links down for you know places to donate. Um, I do it every time I buy anything at any pet store. I, I shudder to think how much I've donated. But it's it really is for something good. I don't know. I don't know. I just, I just, I, I had a lot I wanted to say. I said way more than I meant to. But if you got a dog at home, give him a big fucking hug. If you're thinking about getting a dog, um, go to a shelter. Get a shelter dog, because they need it. You know, purebreds, they're, they're guaranteed to sell, you know? Shelter dogs, though, some of them, some of them have a clock over their heads, and some of them, sometimes it might be someone like this. You know, you don't know who ends up in a shelter and how. There's this idea that shelter dogs are all, you know, they're all like vicious dogs that couldn't, that their owners couldn't handle, but you never know. Sometimes it's just a shitty owner that abandons a dog and no one picks them up, so they get thrown into a shelter. You know, yeah, it's, yeah, it's a bit of a risk, but, you know, it's, I think it's worth it. You know, because then you, you you helped in more ways than one. We got him kind of sequestered in the room here because he's <laughs> he's a little too he's super rambunctious and he just wants to play nonstop with all the other guys. But you know, <laughs> I 
Alright, there's game stuff incoming. I just really, I just really wanted to get that out there, because, like I said, it does mean a lot to me. <laughs> I think Dopey's a stupid name anyway.